How's it going, Eric? Uh, last year's Vanderbilt game, obviously the ending was very memorable. What do you guys remember about that second half, you know, as it was kind of sliding, Vandy takes the lead, and you especially, Luke gets hurt, and now Zeb's coming in. What was your mindset going out on the field? Uh, just um, just keep doing your job. I mean, that's the main thing you can do. Uh, no matter who's up, uh, whoever goes down, the next person knows the game plan. They just got to come in there and execute. Uh, that was the main thing. And, uh, you know, we uh, we got down a little bit. Then we rallied back, um, and we had a good ending to the game. So just got to go out there and just execute. Eric Jaheim was in here a little bit ago talking about how this team needs to kind of stay together, especially offensively. What's your role in that over these last four games to make sure there aren't any cracks that kind of form? I just got to keep bringing the energy out there. You know, uh, just sometimes sometimes in the game uh, last week, I, I kind of felt myself not bringing the same energy that I did on the drive that we scored a touchdown. So I just got to find a way to just keep motivating myself internally because – you know, like the, our, our offensive line, like we, we, we keep this team uh, going, you know what I mean? Just with our, our leadership and our maturity uh, in that group, uh, just going out there and, and, and not only myself, but the guys beside me, we just got to go out there and just be that uh, integral piece of the offense just to help uplift the team. Kind of sticking with that as one of the team leaders, what's it like on the sideline when the offense is just kind of not getting anything going in a game like Saturday? And how do you, as a leader, kind of make sure that doesn't happen again, maybe from a vocal perspective on the sideline? Uh, just coming off the sideline, telling coaches what we see um, uh, with, 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 with what's going on, uh, with what we've practiced throughout the week. Um, obviously, asking uh, what type of runs we think would work or what type of passes would work. So just going out there and just having g great communication, not only with uh, the coaches, but um, us talking to the uh, Nate and Stog, or us talking to Marshawn, CBS, and Juju, you know what I mean? Just getting that good communication with uh, each position group. Um, I know, obviously, you guys have done in the past where Spencer will look over to the, the sideline and, and y'all get a play and maybe change it or whatever. Um, how, how does that process go? And, and specifically on Saturday, was Missouri – pretty good at countering some of the stuff that was going on that way when, when y'all would get into a play and, and maybe they'd make an adjustment or something like that? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. Uh, we, you know, me and my office and line coach, we, we were still trying to figure out how they knew certain times when we were passing or how certain times they knew if we was going to run it because uh, they would throw their hand up. But it, it was just kind of crazy. Uh, just, just we, I mean, once we hear the call, we just got to go out there and execute. I mean, I, I really don't know. It's whatever they call. You know, we just getting in a, in a check game. We just got to go out there and execute. Eric, what's the mindset, the mood of the the guys, of you guys these last couple of days? Because I'm guessing as disappointed as you might have been with Saturday's outcome, you still won four straight before that, and you, you know, got a little bit of a run going. Yeah, I mean, it, it's still football at the end of the day. Like, you know, I mean, we, we, we five and three, you know what I'm saying? You look at it, we could be one and seven, or, or we could be two and six. I mean, we five and three. So you just got to go out there and just take everything with a grain of salt and just keep executing and just keep building on, you know. Uh, not looking uh, – Coach, Coach Beamer says it all the time. You're not looking in the rear view mirror. You're always looking forward in the, uh, in the front view. So, Eric, I want to go back to your comment about not bringing the same energy as you did on the touchdown drive. How, how does that happen, you know, especially as a uh, – you know, with your experience? It's not like it's just with the flow of the game, you know, you just got to you just got to go out there and uh, you got to tell yourself, like, you know, just help the team in whatever way that you're doing. You know, you, you, you could be blocking um, uh, to the right one play. Right. But the ball is over there to the left. Like I can run over there and chase the ball and I can help push the pile or I can help get my running back up or whoever got the ball, help them get up. You know, just letting the guys know that we got your back. You know what I'm saying? So if we do a good job of showing them that we care about them, they can, that'll help them know that I'm uplifting them, and they'll know that I got their back so they can go out there and have my back. Hey, Eric. Um, it felt like you guys on the O-line had been on kind of an upswing from that early part of the season, and then you had the, I think, four sacks given up with Missouri. Did you feel like there was something with you guys that kind of was, was not clicking on Saturday, or did you feel like it was more just Missouri's D-line challenging you more? I mean, they, they, they always have a, a, a good D-line, but, you know, we just got to go out there and be better. Uh, 
So we're going to go out there and this week and practice and focus on what we need to focus on and just do better so we don't have an output like that again. You talked about always looking forward. Obviously, he's a six-year guy. You want nothing more than a bowl game at the end of this season. Knowing what's waiting in those last couple weeks of the regular season, just how much importance are you putting on these couple games here to try and secure that? Uh, just taking this next game like I took the first game. It's, it's another game. Uh, nameless, faceless opponent. Just got to go out there and execute. Eric, I guess obviously last year you guys had kind of a tough loss to Missouri and came back, beat Auburn, ended the season really well. I guess is there anything you take from last year's experience maybe with some of that and, and you know, can kind of look toward, you know, whether it's this week or the rest of the season and I guess, you know, having gone through maybe some some of those ebbs and flows maybe last year and applying that to sort of the tail end of this year as well? Nah, uh, last year was last year. This year is this year. Uh, we write our own story. Uh, we're, we're in the middle of our uh, movie film and uh, it's not over with yet. You know, a lot of people might have written us off, but it's not over yet, so. Going back to what you're saying about Missouri seeming to know what y'all are doing, runner pass, I, I think it was mentioned on the game, on the TV copy uh, a couple times by the announcers. At what point did, did that become apparent to y'all that they had had an idea that, that they knew what was coming? I, I don't know. I really don't know what they were looking at, but every time they threw their hand up, they knew it was passing. So I don't know what keys they saw in the film or on the game, but – you could see the D linemen just throw their hand up, so they knew he was passing. I don't, I don't know what they was reading, but. And and that was, did they start doing that like right from the get go? I, I didn't nah, notice it, until it, I saw it like at, after halftime. Yeah, it didn't happen in the first, like two or three drives, but later in the road, I don't know. That's what I, was, I don't know if they was listening or, or just reading something in the backfield or us, but I don't know. Eric, this offense at times has shown some flashes, but it's kind of been disjointed at times. What can y'all do over these last four to really gain some consistency and kind of live up to, to what this offense was supposed to be maybe first early in the season? Uh, just going out there and executing and staying close, like James said, just staying close with each other. Uh, uh, you know, the guys in the locker room, we know what we got, and the bond that we got is special. And we want to just uh, make sure that we show everybody that we are the closest team in the nation. No matter what's going on, we always don't have our brothers back. So, for sure.